A lot of this is like what's happening here in the U.S., where unfortunately inflation's kicking in after COVID reopened. You are having um, the lower income consumer is hurting more, and so they're having to trade down. They're having to look for discounts. But it's that higher end consumer has not been hurt as much, and that's exactly what you're seeing in China. So your luxury brands, like in France, are doing fantastic. But yes, people are having to buy nearly expired food, and so you know that that obviously is a horrible discrepancy. But that's exactly what's happening there. Um, and I think that is exactly what you want to look at going forward is um, there's actually an interesting article in the Wall Street Journal today about how investors are much more worried about the Chinese government, to your point, and what that's going to mean for Chinese stocks. So people actually are looking to like luxury brands in Europe and the U.S. as a way to invest in the Chinese consumer without investing in China, right. which is kind of an interesting idea.